a reference in OCaml is a pointer to a typed location in memory. Sometimes these are called just refs for short, or a ref cell. Now we start getting mutability. The binding of a variable name to a pointer is still going to be immutable, but the contents of the memory location that is pointed to are mutable with references. Let's recall what it looks like when we have immutable values in OCaml. We can have integers, for example. 3110 is an int. It's anonymous right now. It's unnamed. We could bind it to a name. And now x is an int with the value 3110. And we know that we can't mutate x, although we can create other variables with the same name that shadow it in scope. A ref is created with the standard library function ref. You give it a value, and that creates a pointer to a typed location in memory. Its contents are initialized to whatever value you passed to ref. So now we have an int ref, which is to say a reference to an integer. It will always be a reference to an integer. The type can't change. But the contents of that location in memory can change. In order to demonstrate that, we need to bind that ref to a name. Now we have a value y, which is a reference to an integer, whose current contents are 3110, but we can change those contents if we want. First, let's look at what's in y. It's an int ref whose contents are 3110. And if you want the contents out, there's a dereference operator written exclamation point, often pronounced bang, bang y, that gets us back just the contents from that memory location, not the location itself. So note the change in type here. When we dereference y, we get an int, not an int ref. And that's important uh, because if you want to actually do, say, arithmetic with that integer, you'll have to dereference it x plus y doesn't type check because x is an int, but y is an int ref. Instead, we have to write x plus bang y. And that allows us to add together those two integers. We can change the contents of the memory location with the assignment operator. Notice that the assignment operator simply gives us back unit. Unit recall is the type that has only one value. So essentially what OCaml is saying is, yes, I did the assignment. The location has been mutated. Now if we look at y, it's an int ref still. And you can't tell, but it's still pointing to the very same location in memory that it always did. It's just the contents of that memory location have changed. They're now 2110. So now if I add x plus bang y together, I get 5220 instead of 6220. Let's review that a little bit. When we create a reference, we're creating a pointer to a location in memory. That location in memory is typed. If you create an int ref, you will never be able to put a string into it. And when we bind that location to a name, that binding, as usual, is immutable. It's just the contents of the memory location that become mutable. So when we say let x equal ref 0, that standard library function ref is going off, creating a new location in memory to store integers and putting 0 in that as its initial contents. If you dereference x, you will get the contents back. If you assign to x, you get the unit value back, simply to say, yes, the assignment has occurred. And if you dereference x after that, the contents have changed. They're now 1. x itself is always going to point to that same location in memory, unless we shadow, as usual. So it's not that the pointer changes, it's the contents pointed to that change.